Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBP Nuts video series on STL algorithm series and this video is about nth element. So we have seen so many videos about sorting and is sort and partial sort and all those things are there in this series and this is nth element. So you might have heard uh, find the kth largest number from the given array. For that matter, let's suppose this is the input array and I want the first largest number or uh, first uh, smallest number, meaning I want the smallest number among all these numbers. What if I'm saying I want smallest, I mean second smallest number that is going to be three, correct? Third smallest number that is going to be four. So this algorithm actually does this. It will actually find the nth largest, sorry, smallest by default largest we can apply like this we can say that okay please take greater and that will work as a nth element and find the largest among all these things so the default is smallest and you can give this greater then it will become the largest one so let's try to understand how this whole thing is working and there is little different than only finding that number because it actually changes your array so how it changes that we'll talk about that so nth element is a partial sorting algorithm that rearranges elements in first and last range. So this is the range you have first and last. So if you see here, this is your nth element. We are giving the first here and the last here. So it needs range, right? I mean, if you have this vector, maybe you want to perform the operation between this and maybe this only. Or maybe from here to till end, I mean, that that's depends upon your requirement, right? So you will give the range here, this square bracket meaning you are actually including first and this round bracket meaning you are not including last one. So including first, excluding last. So this is how you give the range here. So it is saying that nth element is a partial sorting algorithm that rearranges elements in this range such that the element at the nth position is the one which should be at that position if we sort the list. Meaning, you are saying that give me the sorted element only single one and you are asking for the position that I want. Let's suppose this particular position. It's like you are asking for this position what would be the number if I would sort all the elements without sorting. So the second point is it does not sort the list just that all the elements which precede the nth elements are not greater than it and all the elements after it are not less than it. Meaning, let's suppose I'm looking for this particular position. So this is 0, 1, 2 and 3. So if I'm looking for third position, let's write 0, 1, 2, 3 and let's start sorting them. So 2 will come first, then 3, then 3 and then 4. Okay, so this is your index and this is your value. So this is how a sorting would look like, correct? But if you are applying this nth element, it will give you the sorted element for that particular position. Meaning if you're asking for this third position, it will give you this four here for sure. Hey guys, it's time for a quick pause and what you're seeing right now is my Patreon page. So if you don't know what is Patreon, it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return, you get rewards. So if you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. So this is the only sure thing. Now, as it will change your whole array, the guaranteed portion is left of this four, whatever the values will be will be less than this four and right hand side whatever those values will be will be greater than five sorry four and the another point is nth element algorithm is implemented using intro sort this is a combination one is quick select this is one algorithm and median of medians algorithm there are two algorithms combined together to actually find this nth element so when I was explaining you STD sort, that time I told that there is this algorithm called intro sort, but here 
it is intro search sorry select so now you know what is the algorithm working inside this function nth element so let's read a little bit about this first is quick select is used to find the kth smallest number in an unsorted array this is used to do that median of median is a median selection algorithm for better pivot selection mainly used in select i mean quick select so this is mainly used in quick select only to actually find better pivot selection so if you don't know how this algorithm works don't worry that's not the part here i have noted down this and i'll give video on this in future so let's see how this one is working so as i said we have first and the last so this is the place for first and comma and this is where you will give your n and here is the last one so if you see here v dot begin plus v dot size divided by 2 so whatever the size is divided by 2 would be half of it so i am looking for actually the median so can you see this i am looking for median here so the size of this one would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 divided by 2 will be 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 we are looking for fourth position which is this 5 meaning we should get 5 when i will execute this so this one should give 5 and then i have taken another example here see it's the same thing start and then the nth position and then the last position but comma i am saying that greater here meaning this time i do not want smallest i want largest meaning second largest here i am giving second position right zero is the first position and this plus one will become second position so second largest number so this time it should give second largest which is uh, seven here i guess yes seven so we should get seven here let's execute this and sum this video let's execute this see yeah got it see the median is five and the second largest element is seven here so whatever i said is correct this is a very cool function right this nth element because now you do not have to write your own algorithm or write your own function which will give you this you can directly get it and you have so many facilities like you can have this algorithm for integral data type which is very basic one and you can use a user defined data types like classes and all you can use function object i have given these four examples in sorting video if you do not know what i'm talking here you can go and watch this std sort video of mine you will get it and lastly you can use lambda expression to actually sort or actually differentiate between the elements of your vector if it is not numeric vector so thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next videos bye bye take care